Lee Youth, that's, that's one site, but there's lots of different sites, um, tourist sites specifically for gays. Um, so the second area I want to talk about is the gay, promoting gay culture, um, and one of those ways is through arts and film. Um, so this is an ad that was displayed in San Francisco in 2010, and these ads go together because um, on the left they're talking about the LGBT um, cultural festival, and they're talking about um, Israel Pride Month. And Israel, Israel um, next to it is the, frame, the advertisement for Frame Line, which is a which is a film festival, a really famous film festival, right in San Francisco every year. Um, and Israel actually was a big spot, financial sponsor of Frame Line that year, so they wanted to they wanted to support, show that they're showing showing support and pushing Israeli films. And we'll get back to this because this is one of the places where this pinkwashing was actually resisted. So we'll talk about. Later, but here we see um, that this is in the right. This is in the U.S. This isn't. They're not talking about. Um, this isn't for their gay constituents within Israel. This is what they're paying. They're paying money for Israel, the state of Israel, the country of Israel, is paying money to promote how gay friendly it is in San Francisco. So the question is, why did you do that, right? Because, like Nasser said, a lot of countries not only. Um, I, we might have a discussion about whether other countries are good or bad, um, but but I would say that other countries don't go and try to promote that, right? They won't spend money. We don't actually see ad, ads in our bus and train stations um, talking about gay rights in Holland, right? We don't know much about it, so it's very so it's peculiar and it's of note that it, noteworthy, I believe. Okay, so and of course I left this picture up when I started talking. I, I saw someone else do this. I stole it. Um, so. So another area, right, of gay culture, um, the sex industry and uh, pornography industry. And so Michael Lucas, uh, you may have heard about some of his, some of what he's done around this. If you have been following any of the pink washing or um, and, or Islamophobic and anti-Arab um, work that's been going on in New York City, so he's he's really gotten around. Um, so. <laughs> 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 so, so straight people would have loved that. Okay, Michael. So Michael Lucas um, is is uh, produces porn, porn pornography, um, and he also he's also very very rich. Very rich man. So Michael Lucas, some of the things that he's done, he's taken it. He's not Israeli actually. Um, I believe he was born in Russia, maybe. But he's taken it upon himself to be um, an ally and supporter of Israel and promote. <coughs> promote Israel as, uh, as a land for sexual freedom for gay men. And so here are some of the highlights of what he's done over the last several years. He's been busy during, while Israel was um, at war with Lebanon, he um, organized a live sex show in Tel Aviv where he allowed all IDF soldiers to come for free. Okay, so giving the benefits to soldiers to come to that. Um, in 2009, he produced um, this film, Men of Israel, which this is the wall calendar that you can get from it, um, but I would suggest not to because there's a boycott. So the Men of Israel, the Men of Israel um, film, a lot of what's particularly disturbing about this is not only this general idea of pink washing, is that they actually filmed this in Palestinian villages that had been destroyed, that had been occupied, occupied and destroyed. So and he and there's some. Um, uh, Neda Elia um, writes about this in an article that just came out last year, and she talks about some of the things he said about um, about trying to spread their seed. They're, they don't know that much about biology, but they really spread their seed all over this unpopulated land, right? And this, these villages that were very that were populated and were depopulated intentionally during the Nakba. So, so the so the use of that destruction and use of um, taking over that land with Actually, dominating that land um, is another is another one of his prominent um, claims to fame. He also um, and then uh, another thing that he's done is that in 2011 he actually got the LGBT center, community center in New York City, to ban all programming on Palestine. That ban was just lifted after two years of organizing against the ban. No programming about Palestine can happen at the LGBT community center because he's a major donor there. Um, so he's really taking this cause on, and that's why I'm focusing on his work, work for a minute here. Um, and if you're interested in his latest project, it's called um, Israel Undressed Gay Men in the Promised Land, and um, it's a doc
documentary, um, basically hitting all the points of pink washing, showing, trying to show that, gay, that Israel is a very gay-friendly destination. It um, allows gays in the military. You should, you should actually check out the trailer at some point. We don't have time right now. Um, next to this, I put some of what he said on blogs. So here's um, one statement he's made. He's out as being very um, anti, 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 um, anti Islam. So this one, I actually don't want to read it all, but it's basically really, really kind of disgusting about, um, wow. about how he hates Muslims and, and what he thinks about that religion and those folks who are Muslims. Okay, so the other, so the third area, which is, um, which is, I don't know, to me, one of the most troubling, actually, um, is claiming gay rights as, um, and using gay rights to showing that they are supportive of gay rights to cover up um, what they're doing. So particularly saying, and we have this, this, this might be a conversation you all have had here, right? So gays in the military, right? So is this a win for an LGBT community? Is this a win for a queer community? To be able to have peers in the military, in the military, so